Withholding Tax Simplified. Withholding Tax, WHC, is an advanced payment of income tax which may be used to offset or reduce income tax liability or claimed as a refund. It is an advanced payment to be applied as tax credit to settle the income tax liability of a taxpayer for the relevant year of assessment. This means that withholding tax is not a tax itself, but an advance payment used to offset future tax liabilities. How does withholding tax work? There are two companies, Company A and Company B. Company B gets a contract from Company A to supply building materials for 10 million naira. On completion of the transaction, Company A will withhold 500,000 naira, which is 5% of the contract sum, and remits that to the relevant tax authority as withholding tax. Company B will only be paid 9,500,000 naira. At the end of Company B's financial year, when they are paying their taxes, the 500,000 naira remitted as withholding tax on their behalf will be deducted from the total income taxes they have to pay. Requirements of Filing Withholding Tax To file withholding tax, you need the following documents. Evidence of payment to an authorized bank, this is called an e-ticket. Schedule of withholding tax deducted showing the following. Agent name, agent tax identification number, agent address, period covered, beneficiary's tax identification number, beneficiary's name, beneficiary's address, invoice number, contract date, contract description, contract amount, contract type, withholding tax rates, withholding tax amount, and period covered. Follow the link in the description to download a copy of the WHD schedule from our website. Due dates for remitting withholding tax returns in Nigeria. The due date for remitting withholding tax to FIRS in Nigeria is the 21st day of the month following the month in which the deductions were made. While the due dates for remitting withholding tax deducted from individuals and non-limited liability companies to relevant state internal revenue services, SIRS, is 30 days after the duty to deduct arose. Penalty for failure to deduct or remit withholding tax. Failure to remit withholding tax due to the FIRS will attract the penalty of 10% per annum and interest at Central Bank of Nigeria rediscount rates. Furthermore, failure to remit withholding tax to the SIRS will attract a fine of either 5,000 Naira or 10% of tax due, whichever is higher, in addition to the principal tax due and interest at the bank lending rates. Qualifying transactions for withholding tax. Withholding tax is deducted at source only on qualifying transactions. It may also represent the final tax liability on certain franked investment incomes. What are franked investment incomes? Frank investment incomes are incomes on which tax has already been paid, usually deducted at source, and are thus exempted from additional tax by the investor. Dividend and income on unit trust are common examples of frank investment income. Let's say a company makes a profit at the end of their fiscal year. The company pays the company's income tax on the profit and then a percentage of the profit after tax is then paid to its shareholders as dividend. This dividend is no longer taxed because the tax was already deducted previously or at source. The following are qualifying transactions on which withholding tax are deducted using appropriate rates for individual and corporate beneficiaries. Rents. Individual beneficiaries pay 10% and corporate beneficiaries pay 10%. Dividend. Individual beneficiaries pay 10% and corporate beneficiaries pay 10%. Interest. Individual beneficiaries pay 10% and corporate beneficiaries pay 10%. Commission. Consultancy. Technical and management fees. Individual beneficiaries pay 5% and corporate beneficiaries pay 10%. Constructions. Individual beneficiaries pay 5% and corporate beneficiaries pay 5%. Contracts and agency arrangements. Individual beneficiaries pay 5% and corporate beneficiaries pay 5%. Director's fees. Individual beneficiaries pay 10% and it is non-applicable for corporate beneficiaries. Royalties. Individual beneficiaries pay 5% and corporate beneficiaries pay 10%. Rents include rental income on both real and personal property. 
as a rule, income on a property at rent, hire, lease payments, or rights royalties situated in Nigeria is liable to tax in Nigeria, the place of payments notwithstanding. Dividend refers to income from shares. The income is subject to tax whether it is received by a Nigerian company or a non-resident company. The tax imposed is regarded as final tax. Interest. This is income from investments of every kind. This income, like interest received by a Nigerian company, with the exception of financial institutions, is liable to withholding tax. Interest payable to a non-resident investor is also liable to withholding tax at the appropriate rate and funds the final tax. Consultancy refers to specialized services rendered by persons with the required knowledge and skills, like management consulting. Constructions. This refers to all types of construction contracts, including road construction, laying of pipelines, maintenance activities, and service charges. Director's fees is an annual amount due to directors, usually payable quarterly for services rendered to an organization as a board member. Contracts and agency arrangements cover all forms of supplies, deliverables, or the likes. However, note that it does not extend to contract for the outright sale and procurement of goods and services in the ordinary course of business.